Okay, so how much can I actually earn with a $500 miner? So um, I just wanted to let you know there is a spreadsheet that I can email you and you can play around with the numbers to see how much you will earn. Um, and there's basically three factors that will that will basically dictate how much you are going to earn off your investment. So, of course, the first factor is your original investment. So did you buy a $500 miner? Did you buy a $10,000 miner? Depending on that, um, you will then uh, take into account what your cost uh, per, per giga hash is. Um, and you will find that the higher packages, as I mentioned before, say the $10,000 package, um, it does give you higher mining rewards because you have a cheaper um, giga hash. Okay, and then the second thing is the current percentage of Bitcoin rewards. So right now it's currently around 18, 18%, but yeah, it could go up to 21% and it has in the past. And yeah, it could go up way higher than that. And then you have to take into account the amount of money you wish to withdraw each month. So are you going to withdraw none of it and just reinvest the 100% of it? Or are you going to withdraw 65% and then reinvest the mandatory 35%? Or perhaps you're going to withdraw 65%, but you're going to keep 10% in Bitcoin and you're going to use the other 50% to pay for, you know, some of your living expenses. So, but yeah, when I say that, um, please don't ever try to live off this income as your sole income without having a backup because uh, while this company has a really good reputation, you just never know what happens in the world of cryptocurrency is kind of like an unknown um, thing for you know our, our society at this point in time um, and we're still learning exactly how cryptocurrency is going to work in our world today so yeah um, while this um, is a pretty it's a pretty um, low risk investment if you take into account the integrity and the values of the company um, you just never know what happens so please do not try and live off this as your sole living expenses um, and rather just treat it as an extra source of income perhaps a long-term wealth creation strategy and yeah just a great bonus um, you know an extra source of money coming in that you would never have had coming in previously okay so yeah I can email this spreadsheet to you if you like um, and you can then see play with the numbers so how much would you earn per month if you have a $500 miner and you were only getting 10% uh, Bitcoin rewards every month? Or um, say if you kept your money in for 12 months and didn't withdraw anything, but then you started withdrawing from month 13, you started withdrawing your 65%. So yeah, you can use the spreadsheet to play around. Everybody's going to have a different strategy. And yeah, you can figure out uh, basically what you could earn based on the amount of money that you can afford to invest. So just let me know if you'd like me to email that spreadsheet to you because it is really, really useful. Okay, but yeah, um, while we are here, let's just do a quick calculation. So if you have a $500 miner and your uh, Bitcoin reward is, re rewards rate is currently 16% per month, um, you know, as something like the current rate. So that will give you a passive income of around $80 per month. Now, you can only withdraw a maximum of 65%, as I mentioned to you, 35% has to be reinvested, that's mandatory. So you could withdraw $80 times 65% is $52 of this per month. So on a $500 miner, you would be making around a passive income of $52 a month. But there's something else you need to take into account is that because of the fees related to withdrawing or sending your Bitcoin to your external wallet, this will go down to around $35 to $45 a month if you decide to withdraw, if you know, if you decide to withdraw your money once a month, because there are withdrawal fees. So you don't want to be withdrawing money every single day if you can help it, because you are not going to make any profit that way if you only have a $500 miner. Okay, so um now, your $35 to $45 is not a bad passive income. I mean, considering you only, you've only invested $500, I mean, that's, you know, not too shabby at all. But, okay, so this is something to take into account. If you're starting with a low amount such as $500, it is perhaps better for you to try and reinvest 100% of your earnings instead of withdrawing that 65% each month. 
Okay, so in that way, you will build your $500 up to, you know, um, a much higher investment and therefore your earnings would be much higher, much quicker. So yeah, let's see how that would work. So the magic of compounding. So if you choose to invest, reinvest 100% of your Bitcoin rewards in the first year. So say you take your $500 and you're earning $90 or whatever off of your $500 investment. Instead of drawing that out, what you're going to do is you're just going to reinvest it every month. So, um, so after the first month, you have when you start you have $500 then on the second month you are actually getting the 16 or 18 percent on $590 and this is where the magic of compounding happens so um, yeah so this is a good strategy if you only have $500 to invest is if you choose to reinvest 100% of your Bitcoin rewards in the first year so all you got to do is keep your money in for the first year don't touch it don't withdraw anything um, and then after that you can withdraw 65 percent a month for years two and three but here is the magic thing is that after year three so around month 39 you will be with the strategy where you're reinvesting a hundred percent for the first year you'll be earning around a thousand dollars a month and this is off a five hundred dollar minor like that's it's just crazy and it gets even better around month 73 you will be earning a passive income of around $4,000 a month. Okay, so that is pretty incredible to think about considering you have only invested $500. Okay, so all of this is calculated on a Bitcoin rewards percentage of 16%, but that can change as I mentioned. So um, it's not likely to go down unless we have a lot of miners uh, pull out of this company, which is just not going to happen. Um, and so it's more likely to go up than to go down. So it could go up to 24%, 28%. And then those figures of $1,000 a month or $4,000 a month will be even higher. So this is, it's just, it's just so incredible. It's sometimes it's so difficult to wrap my head around these numbers because they just don't seem real to me. But they are real because I've seen uh, my sponsor is actually my aunt um, who's living in New Zealand. And... I've seen her results with my own eyes on paper. Um, so yeah, that is, it's, I'm telling you that this is what happens. <laughs> so um, yeah. Okay, so next uh, slide is actually a screenshot of the spreadsheet that um, you can use to calculate your earnings. So, so you can play around over here in the yellow column with your percentage. So here I've chosen 16% growth. And yeah, here's the month, so month 39 in this first column. Um, and there you will see your income of $1,000 per month at month 39. Okay, and then the second spreadsheet, you will see your income of $4,000 at month 73. So that's at 16%, right? And an investment of $500. So that is just pretty incredible. Okay, so let's look at a $1,000 investment instead. So yeah, if we also do this one at 16%, so say you choose to withdraw 65% a month, you'll be able to withdraw $1,000 times 16% times 65%. So this will give you a value of $104 per month as a, as a completely passive income. And of course, you have to take into account your withdrawal fees. So you may only get about $90 a month out of that. Okay. But now if instead you choose not to draw to withdraw that 65% for the first year and say you choose to reinvest that 100 uh, reinvest that 100 uh, it's a little bit more than that but yeah if you choose to invest reinvest 100% of your earnings for the first year you'll be earning approximately $500 a month from month 13 or approximately $8,000 a month from month 73. Now, what could you do with a passive income of $8,000 a month? Yes, you have to wait 73 months from uh, 73 months for it. But, you know, um, if you got that $1,000 to invest that you really won't miss it if you spent it, um, you know, if you invested it in this Bitcoin mining, um, you have just given yourself the opportunity to potentially make over $8,000 a month in 73 months from now. Um, and that's something that's pretty incredible. I've never seen returns like this, and I'm seriously excited for the future. 
Okay, so how about a $2,000 investment? So let's do that one. Okay, so at 16% again, if you choose to withdraw 65% per month from day one, from the start, you'll be able to withdraw $208 a month as a completely passive income. You've got to take into account withdrawal fees as well, of course, so maybe it'll be around $190 per month. Now, instead, if you choose to reinvest 100% of your earnings for the first year, you'll be earning approximately $1,000 a month from the second year, so from month 13, and $16,000 a month from month 73. Now, I don't know about you, but some years I've only made $16,000 the entire year. But with this strategy, you have the potential, which is a pretty good potential, um, to make $16,000 a month from a $2,000 investment, you just have to wait 73 months. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to get any money up until month 73. Remember, you only not withdrawing for the first year. So this, uh, these numbers actually take into account that from the second year, so from month 13, you'll be drawing out 65% of your earnings. Um, and yeah, despite doing that, you will still earn around $16,000 a month from month 73. And that's pretty incredible. And if you don't believe me, I can email you the spreadsheet and you can put in the numbers for yourself. It's the beauty of compounding and it's what banks use and what they have used for, you know, for as long as banks have been around. Um, yeah, um, it's a, a seriously um, amazing wealth creation strategy. Okay, so something I just wanted to re, um, re emphasize is that you are not mining US dollars, you know, like, or Australian dollars. You're not going to be paid in US dollars or Australian dollars. You are actually mining Bitcoin. So you're being paid in Bitcoin. So any monetary amounts, such as US dollars, that I have been mentioning to you, those are just based on the current Bitcoin price for the day. So um, please keep in mind that you will be paid in Bitcoin. So, for example, if you paid, if your dashboard said, said that you earned $200 today, um, that is just the Bitcoin on that day with the price of the Bitcoin. So, if you're only withdrawing your money once a month, um, that $200 might change. So, if the Bitcoin price goes up, you could actually get $300 for that day instead of $200. It just depends on how quickly you withdraw your money after, you know, that day's um uh, you know, money has been calculated, if that kind of makes sense. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so say you make $200 on the second of the month, but you only withdraw that $200 on the, the, the 30th of the month, um, that $200 might actually be $600 by that point. So, um, yeah, that's something to keep in mind is that um, these figures are really just approximate and they do depend on the time that has, you know, the, the time period that has passed, um, you know, before you actually do your withdrawal. So if you want that $200, then you withdraw immediately that day, right? But yeah, if you just want to draw withdraw once a month to save on your transaction fees, um, that $200 could go up and down depending on what the Bitcoin price is for that day. So I hope that kind of makes sense.